Kyle, Mark, Leo, Harry, Nathan, Kai, Marvin, Gideon, Peter, Zuby, Nathan, Amechi, Omar, Emmanuel, Elijah, Zablon, Liam, Carlos, Abdi, Rowell. Welcome to Paysetters The Journey. This series, you are going to see a group of 15 year old lads battling at home to make it into a pre academy team. They are going to be put through their paces physically and mentally to see if they've got what it takes to make that step up in their football pathway. I'm Mark Beasley. That's my gang. Welcome to Peace to the Journey. Today is the first trial for Pace FC. With 30 players in attendance, you can see how high in demand this team is going to be. Further along in the series, we will be moving on to better pitches and better facilities for these lads to train and play on. Today is for me to see the guys who want to make that step up from grassroots to Saturday football. Today there's no pressure, yeah? Just go out there, be yourself, learn each other's names, get to know each other. All I'm looking for is for them to express themselves and for me to see their talent and leadership skills on show today. It is also for me to see if they are at that level to make a place in the squad for the upcoming season in the MJPL League. One of the first sessions I got the boys doing today is a 6v2 rondo. Basically, a rondo is an overload situation where you are getting the players to play in a small space, moving the opposition, and for the players to be quick and sharp on and off the ball. What I want from them is using this as it relates to my philosophy, I want the boys to start playing. Personally, I feel a rondo is essential for a team's training session. It helps you as a coach get your players thinking quickly and getting themselves out of tight spaces. Doing a rondo correctly will be massive for your players and for you to see how they are in two to three touch football, especially in their game day. We are now progressing onto a small sided game, but now it is a five versus four situation. Still with the rondo theme, but now there are goals involved and more players on the pitch, which means I can now identify who is my technical sided player and who can start thinking and moving quickly with a little bit more width. As the players are partaking in their five versus four game, I'm starting to take notes and evaluate each player. And also I'm starting to put them into their preferred positions when we get into that 11 v 11 game. I'm also standing with two players who are unable to partake in today's session, who are currently injured, to help me evaluate and also take notes on each player. He can score goals, but I love him. He can score goals. Him, he's just dangerous with his pace. He's, he's hard. Rick. I'm going to get into our 11-a-tie game. We're gonna get into an 11 aside game. Actually, go strike, yeah? Mm. Go step straight forward. And Emmanuel. Emmanuel, who's Emmanuel? Put your hand up. You go on the left wing for me, is that alright? For that team. Carlos here, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Carlos, centre back with Callum for my team. Left back, Peter, CDM, Nathan, and you know your centre back, but I want you to try in centre mid, is that alright, Riley? Yeah. In centre mid, Marvin, Liam, and Tyler make stuff front. Free. If I haven't said your name, put your hand up. Well, Hassan, you're team one, you start on the bench, is that alright? After 20 minutes I'll get you one. Mark, yeah, start team two, is that alright? Start on the bench. If you're on the bench, after 20 minutes you're going to be coming on. Wingers need to stay wide at all times. Striker needs to drop in, receive the ball off the centre midfielder. CDM sits, two full backs get forward. When we've lost the ball, if you're in their half, go in high and win it back. If they're coming our half, you sit off and you make it hard for them to come break through. Understand? Yeah, so in your knees. Stop it! 
Right, lads. I'm not gonna lie, the pitch is rubbish. We won't be playing on this pitch when we're playing, when we do the team, when we do the training, it will be at Spencer. All I'm gonna say is I want my three to four yard passes, I want my wing backs pushing on, wingers staying wide, that's all I want. That's all I'm gonna say for today. Three, four yard passes, <coughs> like we did in the rondos. Short, sharp passes, play around the opponent. We use the CDM to get the ball to the other side. Let's now get the reactions from some of the players who have participated in today's session. How are you finding it? Uh, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what's the op opposition like? It's, the defence is tough. Yeah. It's really hard to get past them. So how are you finding it so far? Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah? Fun time. What do you think of the opposition so far you played in that first section? Uh, yeah, they're alright, but I think, I think we're, we're winning it. What do you think was their weak point? Um, maybe just communication skills, same as us. What position do you play? Striker. CDM. Striker and centre mid. So you did the penalty, yeah? Yeah. What was going through your mind when you were taking it? <laughs> Truthfully, I was going to miss because I've been missing my last penalties lately. So I just changed it, I changed it up instead of going left, I went right and scored. Did you play both feet? Um, yeah, I can, I can use both feet. And what are you thinking of getting out today? Uh, just getting to know everyone, really. Yeah. Uh, just meeting everyone, seeing new people. Okay. What do you think was the weak point for your opposition in that half? Probably the midfield. Midfield, yeah. So you think you're going to exploit it in the next section? Yeah. Alright, good luck boys. Thank you very much. As you can see, we have swapped pitches for a windy day too. The lads are participating in horrible conditions. I also feel sorry for the cameraman following the action. Today is very similar to day one with some of the practices we will be doing. It gives me a chance to evaluate decision making from each and every one of my players. We also have a lot of new players taking part who weren't there last week. It would be great to see how they fit in with the team after that one week they have missed. We are kicking stuff off with another 5 versus 4 game. But this time, the pitches are a little bit more wider, so it lets me see the players with a little bit more width to see how they are on the ball with a little bit more space to run into. Make it as wide as you can. So get the piece, get the players out wide. When you've got in your team, get two wingers bursting up wide. Before we get into our 11 v 11 game, I've added a little condition on to help with that five versus four game and a little bit more learning of that philosophy for each and every one of my players in attendance today. Every time you play the ball forward to one of your teammates, you're gonna run round your defensive, so the corner cone, 
of the goal you're defending. So if I'm defending this goal, you're going to run round the corner and you need to end up in front of the player you have passed to before they've had their shot on goal. Basically, what you're working on is overlapping. You're running round the corner flag, ending up to pass your player before the other team wins the ball. Up. They are working on overlapping runs. As you can see, there is a lot of work to be done, but over time, what I want from each and every one of my players will come naturally for the ones who make it into my team. The lads are starting to connect with each other and building bonds and friendships, which is great to see so early on in the series. Here we are with another 11v11 game. Limited instructions from myself as I'm still looking for that freedom and that decision making on show from every single one of my players. I'm currently briefing the lads who are substitutes with a few instructions to get them prepped for when they come on in that second quarter. As you know, in a football squad, you have injuries and other stuff going on, meaning you have to have more than one player in each position. So it creates that competition for places, but it also lets you fill the gaps in when that certain player is missing. So we have now finished day one and day two. Well done to everyone who has attended the last two trials, but I personally feel I have seen enough to make that first cut into the team. Stay tuned for the next episode of Paysetter FC The Journey. Hello, you okay? Yeah, obviously it's been a very, it's been a tough decision to be fair. I'm only taking six centre backs. We had eight players trial who in that position. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to follow this team's journey throughout the season they are currently waiting to partake in. That's my bros, them, that's my gang. We only feel God, we don't feel no man. That's my 